I saw this on Twitter. Um, and it said, rank them according to their acting talent, right? And it's um, Salman Khan, Akshay, SRK, Rithik, Vidyat, and Ranbir. And so I said, probably Ranbir, Rithik, Shahrukh Khan, Akshay, Vidyat, Salman. Would you have a different... Uh, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely put Renbeer at the top. Probably Renbeer and Rithik would be my, my, my first thoughts. <laughs> yeah, my heart so often goes to Shah Rukh Khan because I know what he's capable of. And, well, we've seen him many times. Yeah, I, I'm, I might give the edge there to Shah Rukh. So you'd put Renbeer, Shah Rukh, I would do Renbeer, Shah Rukh, Rithik. Akshay. Yeah. We've seen a lot of good performances. And then the two, you know, for, for, for Vidyat and, and that, Salman, that. they were just, I, I don't feel like we've seen it. We've seen the least of their stuff. Yeah. But anyway. But anyway. Somebody said, um, uh, what was it? Um, somebody said, like, putting Vidyat over Salman is like putting The Rock over Arnold. And I, and I replied, I said, you yeah, must not know point. me very well because I don't <laughs> think shit of either of those people. But I would I, I, I would put The Rock over Arnold every day of the week. I, I, I don't know who I would put over Arnold. I'm actually looking, honest, like, I'm looking forward and I'm really rooting for him. Um, I don't think Dwayne's, of either of those people. Dwayne's doing a legit dramatic film. I saw the. About yeah, an MMA fighter. I saw the picture. And yeah. I'm really, I'm. I've seen enough of what he does to I I'm rooting for the guy. I, I really hope he can pull this pull this out. I think the growth he's had as an actor and the amount of work I know that he does, because he does have an acting coach that he works with all the time. I'm I'm rooting for the guy. Not me. Just Hey, welcome back to Reactions of Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. Keep false on Instagram, Total Foreign GC content. No, I really like Dwayne Jones. Yeah, uh, thank you for your support. Patreon falls to the Gun Scribble Like button. You know yeah. who I like more, though? Mm. Conky Caitlin! That still fits? Blast from the. No, it doesn't. Um, that's why I brought a change of shirt. Because I'm going to wear this now. You should have worn it during the but, interview. But when. <laughs> when. Uh, when you see. <laughs> this doesn't fit anymore. I've, I've added a little bit more muscle mass since we did that song and my nipples are much harder <laughs> so you can see that i have it's it's pretty damn tight it's like see my nipples you can even see i can think you see, see my tiger tattoo through here can you can you see it i don't want to you want to put your mouth on my nipple Mm, no. Today we got a, uh, this is a, a, a clip from something from two of our ghosts. This is the secrets of SRK and Amir. Uh, and this is with Veer Das and so, so, uh, Sorbant. Uh, both ghosts. The secrets of SRK and Amir. Uh, I, th I think they're just talking about working with him, honestly. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Amir, I think more specific. I think he's on his podcast. We were on his podcast. That's how, uh, so, so. How do you say his name? Sorab? Uh, that's how he's our dose. We haven't interviewed him or anything, but we right. were, we were on his podcast and then obviously Veer, he's, he's like the a, only currently, ghost, or currently the only one as of yet, who's actually been here twice. Yeah. Veer does. Uh, anyways, here we go. Okay. This is a question. Uh, I remember when you were doing, uh, uh Delhi belly. Yeah. Uh, you were telling me that even though Amir Khan is not involved in the project barring that end uh, yeah. credit thing, he's like really into every step. Yeah. B but like, w why? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, if, if it's like, I, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm amazed by it. And, I'm, and and when we wrote Filmfare Awards and yeah. we hung out with Shah Rukh briefly, yeah. I was like, fuck, these people never sleep, man. They're just constantly. Yeah, eh. I learned it very late in life, like what he was doing. Um, do you know the, the new Amir Khan connection? It's really weird. So, uh, Weird Ass, which Saurabh helped found, uh, we got funded this year. 
Oh yeah, I heard so from a, Rain Tree. From Rain Shine. Yeah, yeah. Rain Shine. Uh, Rain Tree. But Rain Tree is a great <laughs> name too. Uh, but yeah. you know, we kind of went from like nine people to now about thirty people. We're producing like three different platforms. Oh, wow. Huh. And we needed a new office, so I walk into this office, and I'm just like, this is what really good vibes, man. Fuck, like, I feel good in this office. And then, I look at two rooms, and I'm like, I auditioned for Delhi Belly in that room. And I signed my contract in that. Oh room. fuck! Huh. So it's like nice. I have Amir's cool. old office at Amir Khan Productions. That's why it's good vibes. Right? Yeah. Uh, and now I'm getting to produce shit uh, and be part of the development process. That's a cool story. And what I figured out that he did later yeah. is a project has a soul. Right. Right. And there's a certain madness. Like yeah. there's a certain comedy madness to a project. Right. Um, that everybody will sponge and imbibe. You right. know. Uh, like in Delhi Belly, it's laundry. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it's that very small thing, but that represents the humor mm-hmm. of the whole fucking this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and someone has to be the guardian and the gatekeeper of that madness. Mm-hmm. You know, so what he did really, really well was until you got on floor, he never came to set, right? Not once, but until you got on floor, he spent time with you every day to kind of infect every department with that madness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To say this is why I think this film is funny. Right. So then the DP gets it, and the gaffer gets it, and everybody gets that this is why the producer thinks this film is funny. Right. So it just kind of psychologically sets. Hmm. Like you know, just somebody who's like, like a good producer. who's constantly reminding you of what the, the essence of the film. Is, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's uh, so. even when you are developing stuff and stuff. So I'm creative director on three different shows right now that I'm not even in. Like I'm. Uh, one is an all-female writers' room. Hmm. Uh, one is like a Punjab Heartland show, and one is like a drugs comedy. Go oh, yeah, I've heard the three of these. Yeah, they're right. very fun. So, so okay, it, it, it's it, just sitting yeah. with people and being like, "Hey, that's damn funny." Yeah. And I think it's funny because of this, and then you fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you let somebody who's really good at their job. It's a good description job. of yeah, producing. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah. yeah, you just need that guidance because yeah, you tend right. to. Of yeah. good producer and then fuck off. Right. Yeah. Like yep. Creator, you're just like. <laughs> it's a great yeah. and, and then depiction of like, a good know, producer. This is it. It's not like all these different directions. Yeah, but with comedy specifically, which is mm. what we do. Do we? If, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but between uh, us also, it's so subjective. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you find certain comics funny. I don't find them funny. Etc. Hmm. Etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, anyway, enough. Uh, let's not talk about EIC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you though? <laughs> Can I tell you though? Back to the zamana where we, <laughs> there, where there were comedy collectives. Yeah, yeah. Until we all figured out five dudes in a room writing <laughs> jokes does not make a company. <laughs> yeah, but, right? uh, uh, yeah. but you guys were the nicest of the guys, man. Yeah, we were great. I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm still friends like, with pretty much Super everyone. chilled, no ego, yeah. you know, is great. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, but okay, was there, like, I remember when we, we were writing the Filmfare Awards and I remember the sequence of events which is that we wrote, uh, I think, four gags <laughs> and then some other dude wrote like 12 gags which was shit. Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying our gags were great. But I remember pitching our gags to Shah Rukh first and he's like, hey, what funny. <laughs> <laughs> then we had to read out the others and he's like, what, what is this? And we're like, we didn't write them. <laughs> and then we spent whatever. But again, what, we spent 20 hours or something in one night? Yeah, uh, some st- stupid amount of time. My favorite bit is Saurabh Pant eating an apple. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell this story. Which camera do I fucking tell it to? This one? So, we have gone to Mannat for the first time. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time we, either one of us has been to Shah Rukh Khan's house. It has been a bad start for me. Because, uh, what was that company? Uh, Sineyog yeah, yeah, had hired us to write yeah, it, right? Yeah. And I forgot the name of the company. So, I knocked on the gates of Oops. Mannat. And I'm like, Shah Rukh Khan Sineyog. <laughs> Security is really sweet, really approachable, and they're like, "Aap kahan se aayo? And I'm like, "Main Virda se." <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, a call was made up to Shah Rukh saying, "Virda se." <laughs> so then, when we finally got into his study, which is my god, what a oh, fucking study, best right? Best study I've ever seen. Man. He's like. Dude, I got a little scared, man. Because <laughs> like, there was no company. They're like, Birda Sai. I'm like, you might as well let him in. <laughs> so that's the secret to get into my so name. His first name. So Sanjay Chabadiya is there, like SPs, huh? Uh, then we got in. And we're young guys, man. Yeah. And we wrote this gag. And Shah Rukh was talking about something. And he's like, what do you think? And I made the mistake. The first words out of my mouth was, Sir, I don't know if that's funny. Yeah. Right? And then... Everybody just kind of <laughs> got silent in the room because huh. you were told the king he wasn't funny yeah, yeah. for the first time, and then he brought it back. Yeah, like yeah. Shahrukh was like, 
you know what you're fucking right that's uh, not funny you yeah. know and like if he had not been approachable mm. at that moment it was done yeah yeah, yeah. right yeah. we were out of that we were out of manat in like 30 seconds yeah, yeah but then sharukh was like okay young kid young yeah. blood let's see what you got you know what i mean yeah, so then yeah. it became that yeah and then we are in manat for fucking 20 hours and sharukh has gone and shot a movie and come back <laughs> sort of and i know he was doing the screening for my name is khan downstairs yeah, right yeah 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 and wow. then at some point we were just both so tired and fucked uh i think and sharukh really takes care of you right so there's yeah. this fucking snacks and carty rolls and this and that da, da, da. but as a sign of protest saurabh pand reaches into his bag and pulls out an apple <laughs> right <laughs> and he's eating his apple while talking to sharukh khan they did a joke with saurabh and i'm like so sir the <laughs> an apple <laughs> what the fuck is going on boss the guy was there for 48 hours it's a good apple man i remember it's a good apple <laughs> <laughs> it's very tasty but I got to say man because I wrote for him 4 years on from you know for oh, film yeah, fair. Oh you doing the film fair yeah. Uh God bless him man. Like he gave like he could have shut us down in a second. Yeah man some of these like every time I'm I'm amazed by some of these guys and how hard they fucking work and I mean this the list includes you uh, which is the uh, like every time I meet somebody who's like hey XYZ person uh why are they successful i mean out of like i don't like this person so why i'm like dude they fucking like i remember meeting varun dhawan at the airport mm-hmm. and he's like uh he's just telling me his schedule okay and i've like just woken up after like 12 hours of sleep and he's like yeah you know i woke up at like uh, 2:45 in the morning mm-hmm. and then i did uh, cardio for 7 years and then i woke up at the bed and i picked up three trucks and then i ran through the city and now i'm here and i'm like what are you uh, doing? yeah man madness man they work they work crazy but they're also it's that see we ran into them hmm. when we were kids at kind of the phase in their life that they are at right that we are at right now right you know like when we met sharukh he was like 40 hmm. you know what i mean you're 38 i'm 40 right now yeah. when amir made delhi valley i think amir was like 40 42 yeah right like hmm. this is the decade where we work as hmm. hard as they worked then possibly yeah you know it's that zeitgeist of uh, clout hmm. meets acumen meets everything yeah where you can be a damn hard working person that nobody listens to who gives a fuck at that <laughs> moment in time these guys were hard working and they knew to work hard when people were listening to them yeah. <laughs> just picturing a guy at like church gate station go like hey mere is kind of i spent 11 years and I'm like no and then do this like you know akshat verma how delhi belly got made no he left the script with amir's maid oh, okay it like every studio said no to delhi belly and then akshat they went ting tong get out of his house and his maid was like ha eh? and she like <laughs> tossed the script and she literally took it to a study and tossed it on a pile of scripts like right. the 300 fucking yeah. of the best scripts in yeah. india a lying in amir study waiting for him to read it and then i think they were getting ready for an event and kiran was just kind of like sitting and he was getting ready and she picked up one and she was reading it and he's like what are you laughing at huh. and she like this is actually quite funny That's how Delhi Belly got me because it was top of the pile. Mm. Wow, man! Good lord! That's actually a great story. That's Hello. wild. My name is Veer. Good uh, lord! I have a new Netflix special called Four. In- <laughs> <laughs> and if it wasn't in the top, it would have never been made. Probably something else would have been. Yeah, probably. I uh, there's a couple of things in there. I loved the um, basically the it wasn't really a description, but how he described. Um, I don't know if how he does everything in his, his producing, but what he was talking Amir's. producing philosophy. Yeah. It seems like is give your input off uh off screen to basically everyone so they kind of get the vibe mm-hmm. and then fuck off. Mhm. Cuz that's in my opinion, I even I mean, I don't know about big production ones, obviously that's a different animal in and of itself, but that's my understanding of a good producer. Mm-hmm. Somebody who's there to support and give his input mm-hmm. but also not um intervene in the creative process uh like while it's unless unless, unless that unless asked upon exactly unless asked upon yes that you you're very passionate about it and you're all hands on deck right up until everything's going to go and then you let the director know and the exec producer and everybody else you go anything you need I'm here but you trust that it, that you assembled everybody and everybody has the vision and now you just let them do what it, it, it's very much like you guys might not get the reference but there are baseball managers who overmanage 
That's one of the things that Dave Roberts has been accused of in the postseason is that he overthinks and overmanages and tries to do too much, and it interferes with the quality of, of Dodger postseason, and they've lost some games because he's just trying – rather than just stick with your gut and trust your players and let your players go. A great example of Phil Jackson – was the guy who you're watching the Lakers. They're, they're falling apart. Pop did this a lot with the Spurs. They're falling apart, and they don't they do not do anything. And they've talked about their strategy. It's, I trust them. they got to dig themselves out. There's nothing I can do. I'm not on the floor. Yeah. They have to dig themselves out. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that a lot. I and mean, we've heard numerous things like this from Shah Rukh Khan, obviously. Yeah. 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 Of him and his um, approachability. and Yeah, and I think that's like a similarity that. between both him and Amir is if they believe in a project, they're all in. Yeah. Once once they're in, it is they're in. I want to know, obviously, and this is uh, comes with, you know, being an incredibly successful actor, whatever you are, you know, and, and you're producing stuff as well. I want to see their schedule, like what their assistants. Yeah, handle. I know they don't probably know it. Obviously, their assistants handle their schedules. I can't imagine. But obviously, shoots, but then you got separate meetings for future imagine. projects. You got brand deals. You got, and so your entire day. Yeah, and that's why a lot of them. I think you Vidiot. Was he talking Vidiot or Varun? I think it was Varun. Yeah, gets up at two in the morning because yeah, you got I, so much shit to do. I'd love to see. I want to just see the schedule. Yeah, like. I can't imagine what the schedule's like for Zendaya. Oh, good word. Because she's starring in things. Producing. She's modeling. She's producing. She's going to all of the events. She's going to all the award shows. I, I, she, the, the amount. And that's just the stuff we see. Yeah. The amount on her plate. And even somebody like, I'd love to see Priyanka's. She's got her hands on so and many she's got things. Kids. And she's got kids. And she's got a husband who's got his hands on a ton of stuff. But I think they also – they make choices because they've got the power to do it. For example, she, I saw a post of hers where she said that she just wrapped shooting on a film. And I think it was the very next day or within a couple of days they were on day one of his film. Mm -hmm. And she specifically said, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. They're not on set at the same time. Yep. So that one can be there with the other to support them and be with the kids. Yeah, yeah, but I the mean, schedules I'm, are insane. I'm sure Renvir and Topeka are similar. That man's schedule is insane. Veer Das, yeah, He's his 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 schedule is utterly crazy. Does he have kids? I can't remember. I don't think he does. He doesn't have kids. Okay, no, but his I know touring he's schedule is global. I know he's married, and uh, he he just uh, I and with the, so is Dwayne Johnson's schedule is insane. obviously they're both obviously comedians, but they're both writers as well. Right, and so well. you got so many meetings of like oh my goodness, you got to make jokes. For, he, they were at Shower Khan's house for forty eight hours. Good Lord. <laughs> and Charles Conjure got, puts everybody yeah, up. Yeah. You know who else's schedule I'd love to see and how he manages it? It's one of the things I'd ask him when we could talk to him is, is Karin Johar. Oh, yeah. What the hell is his schedule like? I want to, <sighs> if we ever get to, I just like, can you just show me like, yeah. what you're, what, day, like a, a day in the a, life. A, a day in the life of yeah. Rukh, I mean, uh, uh, Karin Johar looks like. Yeah. What time do you wake up? When do you spend time with your kids? When? <laughs> when's your Can't first meeting? Imagine. What's, in a, what's, Can't what's imagine. going on here? I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they have a very structured and planned out oh, yeah. and stuff oh, like yeah. that i i personally obviously uh, acting is my first and foremost but producing and directing i've always been big interests of mine producing you just need money usually. that's it yeah I, I would love to produce because all that is is you've got the money to help other people make their dream projects and you believe in it and you can help them make it yeah yeah uh, i'd love to produce I've, stuff. i've loved that 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 world um i always talk to the producers whenever i'm on stuff because I, I like that and directing as well um i i enjoy those things um it's just producing you just need the the funding for it which is why you not only when you're successful you start producing things because one you make the most money that way yeah it's a great return on investment and it's also a beautiful you know a philanthropic thing to do is to be able to be in a position to help other people make their dreams come true yeah. I think producing is a, a wonderful endeavor. Yeah, great interview as always. These yeah. two are, are, are wonderful to listen to. Very funny, very, very funny men. Uh, and just uh, the insights to uh, Amir Khan. I would love to talk to that man. Good Lord. Uh, let us know uh, other uh, interviews that we can react to down below. Josh! 